Hey, this is Luke with Saul Strong. In this video, we're gonna show you the easiest way to tie the FG9. This is the pinky method. I've tried all the methods out there, whether you're holding your teeth, that works. If you can tie it manually, that works. There's a lot of tools out there, I've tried those. This has been the fastest and easiest way to do it. And the best news is you don't need any fancy tool. You don't need anything special except for just some place to put the rod. So in this case, I'm using a rod holder. So we're using the tension method. The tension method gets you the cleanest and most consistently strong FG knot. The manual method takes longer and the manual method does not let those coils come in at a consistent, uh, a consistent tension. So what this, all, you, all that requires is just have the rod somewhere. And when I say the pinky method, what we're gonna do is we're gonna secure the line on our pinky, secure the braid on our pinky so that we can, can manually control the tension super easy. So four or five turns around the pinky, that is set. Now with just one finger, right, I can actually use the rod. I'm, I'm, now there's a decent amount of tension on here. We just need a little bit and I can control the tension with that finger. So now we have, this is a 10 pound braid, 30 pound mono. So now I'm gonna just hold that line and have the tag end of the mono out. And now we just do the normal tension approach where we have the line going over the braid. And then the first wrap we go towards the rod tip, pull it tight. Next one we go down on the other side, away from the rod tip, pull it tight. And every one of these, we pull it tight and we keep tension, right? Go up toward the rod tip, pull it tight, down toward the tag, pull it tight. So that's four total. We're gonna do a total of 16 to 18. That usually gets the job done. And, uh, and there it's just super easy, right? Just do this thing over and over again. So there's six, seven, eight. We can go in turbo speed, right? If we're just going slow for the camera. But, uh, but it's just learn this one, this one method, these, one, these two little twists, and that's all you need to know for the FG knot. And as you can see, these coils are coming down super consistent. They're nice and uniform on, on the, their, uh, their length, and they're also uniform in tension. And that's why this method has the most consistently strong approach. I've been chatting and not counting. So this is probably around 16, and we'll just go ahead and do two more again towards the rod. I like to end it towards the tag. So we're gonna go towards the tag, pull it tight. Now these FG coils are all done. You can see they look nice and clean. The manual method does not get them this clean. And, and again, we don't need a tool or anything fancy. So to secure it, we're gonna go ahead and just with our left hand, just pinch right on there. Now we're gonna take it off of our pinky. So now the coils are in place. Now we need to lock them in. So now it's the half hitch knot. So we're gonna take the tag in, go around both the braid and the leader and do a, what again, what's called a half hitch. We just go around, pull it tight, and then we pull it tight up against those coils. Now those coils are all locked into place. So we're gonna go ahead and do one more half hitch knot. And then we're, that's the last, that's the last of the before we cut the tag. So tighten that puppy down. So now before you cut this tag, super important is we have to dig these coils into the leader. And so to do that, we're gonna go reach up the line. We're gonna wrap it around our hand three times. I'll give myself a little more slack around the hand three times. And now we're going to pull, we're gonna provide tension and we're gonna make sure that these, that these coils dig in. So you can see them start changing color. That's a good thing, right? You wanna make sure that all of them change color, particularly this first one. That's why I like going 16, sometimes even less, right? This first coil really needs to cinch down. If this one gets compromised, the entire thing can pull off. But if this one stays taut, that there's no way this knot is gonna come off. And it's shockingly strong. This is outperformed. I've done a lot of knot tests. This one has outperformed the double uni, the Albright, even the Bimini twist with the no name and Yucatan. I mean, you name it. This thing, even though it's crazy, it's crazy thin, it is, uh, it is super strong. So. Now we have the leader tag cut off. Now we just need to do um, just a couple more half inches on top just to not have that hard edge of the leader sticking up. So same thing. Now I like to I keep the rod in the rod holder because it's a lot easier to do half hitches when tension is on the main line. So go around it, half hitch, go around a second time, half hitch, and we can even do third for good measure, half hitch, pull a little bit tight. And now we are done with the FG. If I could just find my scissors, there we are. So now we are done with the FG, and that is a clean looking knot. As I said before, this is super sleek, right? There's no knot that is thinner, and it's shockingly strong. And the best news is you don't have to have any tool or anything special. Just need to have your pinky and your line and some scissors, 
And you can do this out in the boat or out in the kayak. It can be wavy out, right? If it's wavy, I just do the same thing, sit down, and you can just have everything right there nice and constrict and just keep it all in, uh, in, in control. And, uh, and generally, I'm tying this in about a minute. So I, I tie myself just doing it the normal method, just without trying to be in a hurry. And it was a minute, 15 seconds. If I do it fast, I can go under a minute, but this does not take nearly as long as what a lot of people say. It just takes practice, like just like every knot. Uh, no knot you tie the first time is gonna be super fast. So practice it up, learn this pinky method. It's super easy and I'll put a link down below where you can see some, uh, some screenshots on, on how, you know, on each step, each of the course steps on this knot. And we also have a link of all the other knots that we've tested in case you wanna try those out as well. So I'll put those links down below. Thank you so much for your time for watching. If you have any questions about this tying method or about any other knot contest that we've done, please do not hesitate to ask. Leave a comment down below. Love to hear from you and I'll be, be uh, as fast as I can to respond. Just know that all questions on our website, saltron.com, those get priority. And if they're on like YouTube or Facebook, so, uh, we don't often get to those. So make sure to check this out on our website. If you comment there, we will definitely respond and uh, give you links to whatever stuff you're looking for. So thank you so much for your time and watching. And most importantly, if you're new to Salt Strong, just know that we're the best online fishing club in America because we actually guarantee you'll be catching more inshore saltwater fish than ever before while saving time and money. We do this through our premium education, our exclusive insider community, and huge discounts on all the tackle you need. To learn more, go to saltstrong.com. Otherwise, hope to see you again soon.